in terms of reoperation, you think first time you need to select the right patients, but sometimes we do not have systems in place to do that. We sometimes have our own biases, which can be very conservative or very aggressive based on our own experiences with this disease. So you need a proper roundtable discussion to optimize which patients you select. So for example, patients above the age of 70, oftentimes people would assume that they are not fit enough to undergo the rigors of radical treatment, including gross total resection and radical chemo radiotherapy. And that's now not necessarily true. There are some people in their 70s who are probably much fitter than some people in their 50s. So we need to have individualized and personalized care. And the same goes to re-resection. If, for example, um, you have a pattern of recurrence, that's what depends on, is it going to be recurrent within the resective cavity or is it recurrent which is distant in the opposite hemisphere or intraventricularly? So we need to first have a discussion about what do you mean by recurrence? Where is it anatomically? Because if it's within the same resection cavity in a patient who's still quite fit, strong response to therapy, then you can argue you should resect that. But of course, if the patient has disadvantageous comorbidities and performance status, then of course you may not decide to re-resect that even if it's focal recurrence within the resection cavity. So the question is, I think to answer it another way, patient selection first time round, when you have a recurrence, what's the patient's age comorbidities for their overall function and true 360 degree round table discussion. So you don't exclude people just based on age or you don't include people just because they're younger. Also, where is the recurrence? Is it focal? Is it marginal? Is it distant? Is it leptomeningeal spread, intraventricular spread? And all these discussions need to be had to answer that properly. So it's not straightforward.